Hey future nurses, I wanted to make a video about the HESI A2 test because I know how important it is to get into nursing school. I know for me, I was really worried about it. I was taking other classes during the summer and it was during finals week and I was really stressed out. But luckily, I had watched videos on how to prep myself for the HESI test and I had bought in books how to prep myself for the HESI test and I actually got a 95% overall score on the HESI test. So I'll show my score page right now. I'm going to tell you what my experiences were taking the HESI test, common questions like how long did it take, um, were you able to go back and, and check your answers, were you able to go back to other sections, how hard was it, what were the questions like. I'm going to answer all those questions in the description of this video. Now this is what the test is like. Okay, when you when you come to the testing center at my school, they, they were supposed to allot you four hours. But when I talked to the teacher administrating the test, she said that I was allowed to have up until they closed. That after four hours, it doesn't the, the HESI test doesn't close automatically, that you can keep working beyond that. Now, I wouldn't take that for fact from me, and I didn't push the test to see how much farther I could take, but I definitely did take my time, and I had plenty of time. I believe I took about three and a half hours to complete the test, but I was able to take breaks in between. In, in between each section at my school, we were allowed to get up and leave, um, but not during a section. So what I did is I focused on the things that I thought would be hardest first. So I went in and I took the chemistry section, and then I, after that I went and had a cup of coffee, and then I came back and I took the math section, because for me, when I'm when I'm mentally fatigued, math is just really hard. So I wanted to get those two sections out of the way because I knew if I felt like I did good on that, the rest would just be a breeze. So after that, I did reading comprehension because reading comprehension could also be hard when you're mentally fatigued. You have to find different details and read short stories and it can just be kind of hard. So I did that next and then saved biology for last because that's what I felt I had a strong grasp on. So let's talk about each section individually. When it comes to the math section, the math I found to be very, very simple and you had a calculator. And as long as you checked your answers, there's no reason why you can't get a really good grade in that section. But definitely study hard for it. Because if you don't study, if I didn't study, I would have done poorly. So study for the math section and learn to check your answers. Because you're gonna have four different answers, so you're, if you don't know how to do it, you're gonna be able to backtrack. And like I said, you have all the time that you need. So why not check every single answer and use that 100% or high A to boost your overall HESI score. Okay, so let's talk about chemistry. Chemistry I found to be probably the most difficult. It goes over basic stuff like electrons and protons and neutrons and just whatever you'll find in the small section of your HESI study guide. In my HESI study guide, and I looked through three different HESI study guides, they had about 10 pages on chemistry. I would definitely get familiar with all the different laws and whatever it says in that book and highlight it like I've already said. Now, I made a separate video, so you guys can go check that out. We'll move on to reading comprehension. Reading comprehension, I found to be kind of frustrating and tedious. Um, it might be different for other people, but once you're about two hours into a test, you're kind of feeling like, like, I don't know, like you just want to get it done. Don't rush through it. I knew one girl who told me that she rushed through it and she ended up getting like an overall um, lower grade because of that. And I, I, it was just kind of sad to see. But anyway, the reading comprehension isn't super hard. It's about, I think you read about three different paragraphs and then you answer a question about it. And then you hit to next to go to the next page and the same three paragraphs are above and you answer another question about it. And no, you can't go back to the last question. So once you hit next, that's your final answer. And then after about five or six questions, you get a new paragraph and it repeats. But I think there's about 50 to 70 reading comprehension questions. And I, that took me the longest of the whole entire test. So just be aware of that. Then lastly, when it comes to biology, the biology wasn't very difficult. It was very similar to chemistry. It felt almost exactly like the same test. There was, there was even anatomy and physiology on my biology page. They asked me, one, one question they asked me was, if, if, a per, if a patient fractures his cheek, which bone did he fracture? 
and it, one of the options was z zygomatic bone and I chose that one and zygomatic is like your cheek area so it was very simple you know there was other ones like femur and tibia maybe I'm, I'm not really sure but there, there was questions the questions I found to be really fair but every once in a while they throw kind of a hard question in there so that pretty much sums up the HESI test um, if you have any more questions, you guys, like I say, can comment below and I'll try to answer them. But as long as you guys take at least a month to study, infrequently, just put in the time, I think you, you'll find that you'll do really good. Just study each section individually and make sure you focus on your weak points. And just take your time during the test and it's really not that bad. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you found the information helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section below, and I would be happy to answer them and add them to the description for other people who might be wondering the same thing. Also, make sure you check out these other videos um, about HESI, how to study for science, how to study for reading comprehension, and how to study for math. Um, those might be good to check out because I'm going to pretty much spell out exactly what you need to know in those videos. And I think it'll help you get a better score. Also, make sure to um, subscribe. I actually post a blog about being in nursing school and nursing related videos pretty much weekly. So you might want to check some of those out since you're probably going into be in nursing school. So, Alright guys, well I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.